Hey there, it's time for another adventure, so grab your cookie or whatever you have there on your table and let's go onwards to the past. My humble knowledge of martial arts masters used to be limited by masters like Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, Jet Li, and Steven Seagal. Everybody knows them. Now I also know Kung Fu Rabbit. This is a game about an angry furry rabbit that fights the whole alien horde to save his pupils. That's right! The village folk were living a life of comfort, but then the UFOs attacked them. Using the rabbit's skills, complete 70 levels by dodging traps, jumping along walls, and fighting the invaders. Kung Fu Rabbit has dozens of gameplay hours with nice graphics, puzzles, humor, and carrots. It's good for your eyes. All of my archaeology experience so far has been in the field of excavating my clothes to find the lost sock, but my soul yearns for adventure and new discoveries, and to satisfy this need, I found a charming puzzle game in the spirit of Indiana Jones Adventures. Hamilton's Adventure is a game about archaeological escapades with dynamic puzzles. Levels are curious mazes with a lot of withered wood landings that you can only tread on once or twice. Its traps and obstacles will force you to make decisions as you go. You also have a clever bird, Sasha, that will distract enemies and flip switches. Those who prefer killing to taming dragons will enjoy a great action game with magic, loot, and some kind of a story. You are the chosen one. You are the one who can challenge dragons, wyverns, and reptiles in this exciting fantasy world. Dragon Slayer is a spectacular action game where you play as a dragon hunter. With each new level, you earn new armor, magic gloves, and pets to help you in battle. You need to select the right time to dodge and make correct swipes for magic attacks as well as earn money that can be used for upgrades, health and defense potions, and so on. In a strange world, there is an odd race of furry blockheads that are fighting each other. Oh, I didn't mean to insult them. Their heads are really blocky sometimes. The creatures have no hands or feet, but they have a magical ability to change their shape, and that seems to be enough to start a war. The game has 75 levels and three unique worlds, and a whole lot of interesting physics-based puzzles. Foozle, as I've already told you, is about a race of creatures that can take different shapes. You need to tap the yellow blockheads to turn them into circles, or do the opposite to interact with the environment and push the red creatures off the screen. And the last one is for those who want to build something, but unfortunately is all thumbs. I found an amazing and simple game where you can create something and then use it to fight in the arena. Sound fun? Roblade Design and Fight combines two games. First of all, it's a huge building game where you can create a unique robot with a unique way of moving, weapons, defenses, and weaknesses. Second, it's a fighting game where you earn money to spend on future upgrades of your robots. If it only had multiplayer, it would have been priceless. That's all for today. Like, download games from our website for free, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon!